Racism is like a big oak tree. It's like a tree that has been growing and it is massive. And it has been poisoning our country for years, since the beginning. There's no time when it wasn't. And you can't just cut off some leaves or cut off some branches or even cut down the tree in general. You literally have to uproot the tree, you have to set it on fire, and you have to go into the ground and make sure that there's not a single ounce of that tree left so it never comes back. You can't just say, oh, I'm not racist. That's the equivalent of just cutting off a branch. The branch is gonna grow back. When I looked past the rage that I feel about the systemic oppression and physical and emotional violence that has tortured the black community endlessly, my mind turned to nature. When I think about racism in America, I imagine a broad forest filled densely with tall trees. Trees as old as this country itself. Trees that were planted with racist seeds. Trees that grew prejudiced branches and oppressive leaves and mangled roots that buried and entrenched themselves deep within the soil, forming a web so well-developed and so entangled that pushes back when we try to look clearly at how it really works. This forest is where we live. It's who we are. It's the morals and value system that we as a society have upheld and emboldened for centuries. I make this analog between racism and nature in this country because it's as pervasive and as real as nature. It is some part of everything the light touches. But in this moment, all of us are being invited to challenge that system and think about how to affect real change. I believe in my heart that the people who are going to make this change happen are listening to me speak right now. I know this is true because it is you who are the seeds of the future. You are the seeds that will grow into a new and different forest that is far more beautiful and loving than the one we live in today. I believe the path forward to eradicating the blight of racism relies on three principles which form the basis of my faith and my perspective on nature and what I believe humanity needs to thrive. These three things are time, sufficient effort and divine grace. We need these three things to be replanted anew, whole and with full hearts, healed and inspired as a country, as a forest of seeds that have been mutated, nurtured by new and ingenious ways of watering and divine intervention that speaks to us all through the great mother nature with a voice of compassion.